Everyone wants to get rich quickly. We play the lottery, we invest in cryptocurrency. We look for the next big thing that will get us our dream of being rich. Unfortunately, for most people, getting rich quick plans are just not realistic. Sure, a few people will get lucky, but they are the overwhelming exception. For most people, the only way to become rich is to do it slowly. And it turns out that with a bit of very simple math, getting rich slowly is attainable for just about everyone. Welcome to Data Demystified. I'm Jeff Gallick, and in this episode, we're going to look at the simplest way to get rich slowly. There are no gimmicks here, no shortcuts, just very simple math and a bit of consistency. And you won't get rich overnight. That's just not realistic, and anyone who claims to offer you a plan to do so is probably running some kind of scam. Instead, I'm going to try and show you as intuitively as possible just how powerful something as simple as consistency and time can lead to a very sizable pile of money. Not overnight, but rather in the long term. Now, rather than be one of those videos that delays the punchline just to get more view time, here's the whole idea. Save a bit of money each month for a long time and you'll be rich. That's it. That's the whole premise. You've probably even heard this advice before, but I bet you never got a good intuitive explanation on just why this stupidly simple strategy makes you rich. That's what I am here to do today. The advice is easy, the intuition less so. And without that intuition, you can't really internalize just how important this advice is. So if you want to build that intuition, stick around. If you don't, I'll see you in my next video. So let's start with a simple question. Imagine you are fresh out of high school and you get a job that pays you $15 an hour. And to keep this really simple, let's imagine that you never change jobs until you retire at 65. And you never even get a raise that entire time. You're stuck at 15 bucks an hour for life. And now let's imagine that you take just 5% of your income, or $130 each month, and invest it in something like the S&P 500, which is typically considered a pretty safe investment in the long run. My question to you is this. When you retire, how much money do you think you'll have? And I'll even make this easier for you. There are 564 months between when you turn 18 and when you turn 65. So $130 times 564 months, $73,320. So that's the floor for how much you could have. But the stock market tends to increase in value over time, so if you invest, how much do you think you'll actually have? $100,000? $200,000? In reality, you're likely to have something just under $600,000. That's not an error, nor is it overly aggressive of an estimate. Historically, after adjusting for inflation, the S&P 500 grows about 7% per year. And because of what we call compounded interest, a topic I cover in greater detail in another video that I'll link to below, that $130 a month over a long enough time period grows a lot. For those of you curious, I'm going to put a link to a spreadsheet that you can play with in the description below to see just how this all plays out. Okay, so that's the basic idea, but what's missing is the intuition for how some key variables influence this calculation. For instance, what if you wait later to start saving? Or what if you save more than just 5%? It seems like those should matter, but they matter in ways that are really not so obvious. And that's the whole point of this video. But before we jump into understanding the intuition of all this, if you could take a moment to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and click that little bell icon so that you don't miss out on any new content I put out, I would really appreciate it. With that said, let's try and get rich, but slowly. So the first thing that should be obvious is that I set this up in a really simple way. We assume you start a job at 18 years old, keep it till you retire, and save the same amount each month. That, of course, isn't very realistic in a lot of different ways. For instance, maybe you can't afford to save 5% of your income when you're 18 because you instead go to college and don't start earning any income until you're 22. Though, hopefully, with a college degree, you now earn more than $15 an hour. Let's say you earn $30 an hour, or about $60,000 a year. Well, let's say you now save the same 5% of your higher income, starting at 22, till you retire. Intuitively, you should have at least double what you had compared to the other example, and yet, you actually only have 50% more. You now retire with just over $850,000, which is great, but it's not as much as some of us might think it should be. And that is entirely because you waited those four years to get started. Time, as we'll see, is the key to getting rich slowly. And even small changes like four years can mean a lot. Let's take another example to make that clear. Say rather than waiting till you finish a college to start saving, you decide to wait longer using your income to start a family. 
and only really start saving when you're 30. Hopefully by then you've again increased your income and are now making say $90,000 a year. You again save 5% of your income each month till retirement. It seems like you should have more when you retire since you're saving more each month. And yet, compared to the case where you started right after college, you will have much less. You'll end up with just $675,000 compared to the $850,000 we saw before. And again, this has everything to do with time. By delaying when you start saving, you lose much of the benefits of compounded interest. Time is absolutely king here. The overwhelming key to getting rich slowly is to start as early as possible. Even a single year delay can mean tens of thousands of dollars at retirement. In that first example where you made $15 an hour and you save 5% of your income starting at 18 until you retired, you wound up with about $570,000. If you waited just one year to get started, you only end up with $530,000. If you wait five years, you end up with only $395,000. The change is dramatic, even when we're only talking about a few years. Now, all of these are super simple and unrealistic examples, but they serve to make a point. Even very small savings over a long enough time period can result in a lot of money when you retire. Is this the most exciting way of making money? Of course not. But is it incredibly effective and relatively easy to do? You bet. The only thing you need is consistency and time. And if you're already older, remember that even though you can't benefit from as much time as an 18 year old can, every single moment that you wait to start savings results in a massive reduction in overall wealth. If you're 50 years old and save $200 a month for 15 years, you'll still end up with about $63,000. If you wait just one year, that'll drop to $56,000. Time is your biggest asset when it comes to getting rich slowly, so don't waste it. As I said before, for those of you curious, I've put together a very simple spreadsheet that you can play with to see how small changes in time and amount saved can make big differences in total wealth. If you have any questions about that, please put a comment below and I'll make sure to keep the conversation going. Finally, as always, thanks so much for watching.